Tonight, the nationwide fight on abortion is now making its way to the streets of D.C. A pregnancy center just blocks away from Capitol Hill was vandalized overnight. Jacqueline Matter is there tonight with a look at the cleanup. Jacqueline. Jim, it's been hours now since D.C. police were out here taking reports and cleaning things up, but let me show you what was left behind here. Take a look. You can still see the stains of red paint along the door here from where they tried to power wash it earlier and clean it, as well as here on the ground. You can see bits and pieces of red paint scattered throughout their lawn here. And then if you take a look over here, this is where the graffiti was spray painted here. It had said, Jane says revenge. That has since been painted over, as you can see. And then if you take a closer look here, here by the windows, you can see the leftover eggshells still littered across the windows and the bushes here. Photos of the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center show red paint thrown on the front door. All, all of this, all the way down here, and then a huge puddle, like, like the whole can. It was a whole can of red paint, and they just threw it on and let it drill down, and then this was a huge puddle. Right here, even when I got here, it was very wet. Graffiti spray painted across the building. Here they had um, uh, Jane says, and then over here, revenge. But it wasn't just paint. And then these windows and this second, this set of windows over here, all of that had uh, eggs thrown on it. We asked clinic director Janet Durig who could be responsible and why she thinks the center was targeted. Wouldn't one assume that it has something to do with the um, the upcoming Roe versus Wade announcement. I'm assuming that's what it would have something to do with. Police have not said who is responsible for the vandalism. While the clinic has security cameras, they're not currently working, and nearby businesses we spoke to say they didn't catch a glimpse of the suspects either. Neighbors stopping by to see the damage. I was really surprised by it because we actually didn't realize that it was more of a faith based abortion diversion type mm -hmm. clinic. We thought it was a Let's show you the options here, how we can help, you know, vulnerable women. Um, so we were pretty surprised by finding that out and then seeing that it was vandalized. For people to sink that low is, to me, it's just heartbreaking. It's absolutely disgusting, and I don't understand how anybody could live with themselves and do something like this. The nonprofit has been around since 1985 and offers free pregnancy testing, parenting programs, referrals, and supplies like clothes, diapers, and formula for new parents. Oh, no. No, we're not an abortion clinic. This is a Christian faith-based operation who uh, is helping women in, in pregnancies and after pregnancies. In her more than two decades serving as director of the clinic, Durig says nothing of this extreme has ever happened. But the reality is what we do here is truly life changing to many people. And we, um, we are happy to be able to serve them and to help them. Sad that we, people can't accept that there are people who choose life uh, rather than have an abortion, and that makes me sad. D.C. police say they initially responded to a call for property damage here, and their investigation is still ongoing. The director tells me that the city will be back out here on Monday to help them repaint that door. Back to you.